Welcome to this video guys. My name is Robin and in this video I'm going to talk to you about Jupyter Notebooks and why you should use one if you are a data scientist or machine learning professional then you should use this tool. This is a free and open source tool which is used for creating and sharing the documents that contains the live codes and visualizations and basically many explainer text that defines how the code works and so on. This is one of the very handy tools for machine learning. So I want to help you to get started with this notebook. So to get this notebook, we are not going to download the notebooks from here, but we are going to install another package called Anaconda. So this package basically contains all the tools that are required for machine learning and data science works. It has already the Jupyter Notebooks separate it so you don't need to install Jupyter Net Notebooks separately so you should come to this place and then just choose your operating system and download the installer from here I will put the link to this page in the description below so you need to all you need to do is download this and run the installer and after you have successfully installed the application all you need to do is go fire up your terminal and just enter into the desktop or any work area so i want to create a new folder in my desktop and i want all of my ipython projects and all of these machine learning projects in the same place so i want to create a new directory here i want to get inside it so I want to run the Jupyter Notebook server from here. All you need to do to start the server is type Jupyter Notebook here. J U P Y T E R and N O T E B O O K and press enter. So this command basically starts the IPython server and basically and also starts the Jupyter Notebook and you can start using it. Basically the components in this Anaconda package. So one is the kernel that is running in the background that is inspecting all the codes you write in the browser and the next thing is the dashboard here you can see the dashboard the dashboard has all of the notebooks and it lists all of the notebooks that you have in this working directory so the kernel basically here is the client server this is the client server based program so actually you don't actually need to install this anaconda package in your in your local machine too you can just install this in your server and then connect with internet that will just work fine but for this example we have installed this in our local machine so now i am in my dashboard here it i have no any notebooks listed here so i am going to create one now so here is a button here so new and I want to create a new notebook on Python 3 so this basically uses the Python 3 kernel for creating a notebook press enter so the first thing I want to do is rename this notebook so that it won't get messed up later so right here first notebook and press ok so to rename the file all you need to do is just basically go here and click in this point and it will just rename it okay you can see here the interface of this notebook looks little confusing but it is very easy trust me so you can see here the python 3 is running basically you can have different types of kernel that is running in the background i have a python 3 but you can also run python 2 and use the same notebook so you can also use another programming language for this notebook it can be ruby or julia or something like that so let's say get started so basically it has a toolbar here and all the file menu and stuff here and the working space in here so you can see here there are the two modes in this Jupyter notebook so one is the edit mode and another is command mode the edit mode basically gives the green color inside this so 
so you can see here the green color has been highlighted if you just get out of this and click outside this box then it will turn it into the blue that means you are in the command mode so first thing i want to do is just show you that it is capable of executing the python code okay so let's say 8 minus 7 and all you need to do is to execute this code is press shift plus enter okay i'm going to press that so the output is 1 so if you want to print hello world so go ahead and type and press shift and enter it will just type so this code cell can be of things one is the live code the code python code and another is the markdown if you have used the github before then you are familiar with markdown the markdown basically is a special type of format which can let you type the extra code or like comments in this notebook so to just traverse to the notebook to the markdown text all you need to do is press escape character and m so this basically puts you in the markdown mode in this cell so i want to put the heading in here and the one has means f1 tag so this is heading one say and press c plus enter here you can see here this has been has to has one tag so i can want to also again go to the markdown here in this cell and press two tag then this is heading to so you can put more tags in here and hashtag here and it will go up to six hashtag and you can just go from f1 tag to f6 tags this way so the next thing i want to show you is how to create the cell new cell above this cell so to create a new cell above the current cell you are in and for that you just press escape character and press a so this creates a new cell above this cell so you can just press up and down keys to navigate between these command modes the command mode you can see the blue is blue in there so the next thing i want to show you is to put new cell just below this okay the command shortcut are very handy you can also put a new cell under this by using the plus sign here but this is not that good so i want to show you something from the command line press escape and b so this basically puts a new cell just below this current cell you will run so to delete this cell all you need to do is press escape character and two times t so if you press two times t then the cell will be deleted i want to delete this too so the next thing i want to show you is you can also change the type of this cell from here markdown and code you can put this as a code see here it put has in there so you can do that now the next thing you want to do is you can also run and stop this from here you can put this move these cells up and down like this to see the cells and so on you can cut these cells and you can insert the new cells here there are a lot of things that you can do if you want to save this notebook you can just go and print preview here or you can just directly share this ipython notebook through github or there is another website here and be viewer and open this website if you want to share this and if you put this this ipython notebook in your github then copy the link to that github and paste here and enter go then the code will get executed and get displayed so the next thing i want to show you is you see here there are also other tabs in clusters here the current current ipython notebook that i'm working on and it's running you can see here this is the first notebook and running and it is in green in color so you can see in this tab too here is the green in color you can also sort down this you can like, like you can see that has been sort down so create a new folder from here it is very easy so you can just go and rename this you can also delete the notebooks from here you can go to your home directory too from here the one the one from where you the ipython notebook started so that's it guys for this video so 
please don't forget to subscribe if this has helped you for using the Jupyter Notebook for the first time and I will be creating more machine learning and data science videos please don't forget to subscribe guys thank you for watching guys